All right, now we're going to do the same type of project, but this time for our gas expansion, we're going to do, go ahead and use hydrogen peroxide and yeast. So first, just pour a little bit of the peroxide into the bottle. I like to tell the kids that this is H2O2, which is oxygen water, versus H2O1, which they know is H2O, which is, of course, water. Get yourself some yeast. Baker's yeast is fine. I buy it at Costco in the big chunk lump for about $5 for enough for the whole year. And then I get a little film canister, fill it up as my measuring device, and then I'll pour it in to the balloon once again. So now I have yeast in my balloon, just Baker's yeast is fine. And hydrogen peroxide in the bottle. Once again, I can draw on my balloon if I wanted to see the uh, lettering expand. And I ask the kids, what do you think will happen now when I put the balloon over the bottle? I ask them to mix it, and lo and behold, we have another expanding balloon universe, but this time the variable of time is being measured, and it's a little bit slower. See, it can bellow up, but as long as you just pump it down there, it'll be fine. And this here is a neat example of an exo explodo or hot chemical reaction. So this one is also expanding like baking soda and vinegar is putting out gas, but in fact, it's warm. Let's pass it around so the kids can feel that it's warm. Pinch it and pop it. This one's a little bit more dirty because of the yeast. Ready? Pinch it and pop it. I'm gonna use that gas in a second to show you something really cool, that it's actually oxygen gas. We ripped apart the H2O2 into H2O and oxygen with a chemical that's in every living thing, and we use yeast, it's called peroxidase. Now you can pass this balloon around with the water and oxygen in it, and it's really hot. Not burning hot, but nice and warm, and the kids will be like, whoa. And you can say, yeah, this is another type of chemical reaction. That's really hot.